Welcome back to the Sims 4 Rags to Riches High School Years. It's been a little while. I got a little distracted from the Sims 4 survey video, which if you haven't seen, go check it out because the results are really, really interesting. But we're back. And for some reason, loading in, uh, Kevin is standing in this space, which is completely inaccessible. Though he does have teleportation, so... What's, he, what's his plan here? Are you just going to complain about not being able to get that? Yeah, okay. All right, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just, just get him out of there. I think I should just be able to teleport. Um, now, also, you guys suggested Brienne should probably have a bonnet to sleep in, which is something I didn't know that would be useful to sleep in, so I've added that to her sleepwear, which is, you know, she's not really sleepy. But, yeah, that's cool. So, I've done that. Now, you also wanted to see, now that Brienne's a teenager, we can actually probably develop her character- Okay, I need to turn the lights on in this room. <laughs> develop her character a little bit more, and in turn, her room. So I'm gonna turn on this room at least, so we can see what's going on. Uh, you guys wanted to see a walk-in wardrobe, because she's quite, you know, the fashionista. And also an ensuite bathroom, which... We- You know what? We might be able to sneak a door underneath these stairs. Oops. That could entirely be possible. I'm- I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna try. I think that would work. Like, let's go into first person. So if you're walking through here, you'd just see... I, don't, I know it's clipping really badly, but... You can see a little bit of the wood up there. There's like a bookshelf there for storage, and then you can come into the bathroom. So, I mean, I think that works. And also, we're never gonna look at it like that. We're gonna look at it like this, which looks normal. As long as you can get in there, that'd be great. And obviously, we'll put a shower in here and stuff too. So maybe we do the bathroom there, or the bathroom, <laughs> the toilet there, sorry. And if I can just do this shower there, how's that? So before I do the rest of this room, let's maybe just test that. I don't want to get carried away and this not work, so let's get up here. How's everyone else going? Wow, you're tired. You're- pff, man. You came back from a fail prom and they've just gone straight to the gym. <laughs> They're just like, I- I gotta- I gotta work out. This, this- there's no way this embarrassment is ever leaving me unless I work out. Alright, well you do your thing. I'll, I'll let you do your thing. Alright, Brianne. Can you- can you go have a shower in here? Come on, big money, big money. Okay, that did not look promising. Yeah, that does not look good. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I've just shifted the stairs further along and now the door to the stairs is here instead of here. So that means they turn higher up. So they still have this corner placement. Uh oh. Uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, that's fine. Oh wait, what do you mean remove seal? Oh, okay, that's a separate. Don't worry about that. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no. What? Okay. Don't worry about that. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. So, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. So the stairs just turned here instead of here now. So I've sort of shifted it all back a little bit. Also, my wand, every time I do stuff, keeps coming out of this thing. Get back in there. There we go. Yeah. So I've just sort of, you know, moved stuff around a bit. This could actually probably just go here instead. It's a bit nicer, I think. Um, yeah, that works. And then I think this sh should work for the 10th time. Let's try that again. Take a shower. Hey, there we go. We do have a big column in the middle here now like that, but that's okay. We can put some posters or something on it. It'll probably look good. All right. That took forever just to figure out the layout that would make sense. Then we need a walk-in wardrobe. Well, we need to figure out where everything's going to go in this room, I guess. Well, let's also maybe remove some of the more childlike stuff. Like, I don't think we need this or this. Uh, that's kind of okay. That's okay. Uh, that's fine still too. I mean, oh, that, that can go. <laughs> okay, the shape of this room is a bit strange. I mean, I think that's probably a good walk-in robe. The only thing is the bathroom is all the way over here. Is that annoying to have them so far away? Should we do a walk-in robe like here maybe? Just as part of the entrance to the room? It, it is a very... Both of these rooms are very strange. I mean, I think the bed should go here. That kind of makes the most sense. I'll give her a double bed as well. Oh, let's go pastel pop. She's like a cool girl though. So should we go like, go the retro kind of like that one? That's pretty cool. Okay, this took me way longer than I thought it was going to. It ended up being like 50 minutes of me just doing Brienne's bedroom. So we're doing a little bit of a time-lapse furnishing here in the middle of the episode. Well, actually at the beginning. I also didn't want the whole episode to just be furnishing and renovating the house. Uh, but there will be a chapter marker down below if you want to skip forward. But the idea is we basically split up the room into a walk-in robe as you guys wanted to see. And then we've also got a mix of like sort of pastel pop. I'm trying to go for a little bit of a... I don't want to say it's not really a punk vibe at all, is it? It's kind of just like a little bit... A little bit cool. A little bit cool is what I'd like to say. And I do like a little uh, Moschino photo shoot area because I feel like Brienne 
would put on her outfits, she'd go into her little uh, sort of selfie area, take a bunch of pictures there, that'd be pretty cool. I also really liked the contrast of like the, all the bright sort of pastel colors with like black. So I'm using like the checkered black and white rug. I got those black Moschino walls, that Moschino neon light as well. I actually used a few neon lights in the room, some of them from uh, high school years as well. It's a lot of fun. And I've got that arched mirror, which is from the Deligracy and Little Dika, uh, Del what is it? Delicato Lounge? I think it was a lounge set. Beautiful assets, of course, uh, from our real life lounge room. So I, I also thought that mirror just looked really good there. Um, and of course, we'll have a little closer look at everything uh, after this little time lapse. But I think I think I did pretty well. I think it came together. Now, the walk-in robe is one of those things in Sims. It's definitely more for looks because you really don't even need a wardrobe. In Sims, you can just click on yourself and swap uh, what you're wearing. But I wanted to have a bunch of shoes in there. I was gonna use the big uh, Get Famous ones originally, as you saw, just cause I was like, that's gonna be easier. But annoyingly, like, because they're so big, like I don't wanna block the, uh, the view to Addison's room on the other side. Uh, that's something you're always gonna be a little bit careful about when furnishing is just putting really big items that block the view of everything else. So I guess, uh, I was going to say a positive to the uh, dream home decorator uh, sort of walk-in wardrobe and hanging stuff is when you put the walls down, they disappear. I also kind of see that as a negative. I kind of wish there was a way that you could set specific items to either be, you know, like always show up even when walls are down or always hide. I feel like that would save a lot of headaches. Like sometimes, especially if you're doing like move objects and you put like vines on the outside of a house, you know how sometimes you put the walls down, they're still there. That's because they're not like properly placed. So the game just always shows it. I kind of wish if they just had like a little toggle you could do manually, that'd be nice. But anyway, the walk-in robe, I kind of wanted it to feel like we have those built-in uh, wall uh, wardrobe areas and then Brienne needed more space. So she's put in her own little clothes hanger there. We also have this weird little one by one nook, which I put the armchair in, a light, you know, it's, it's a little bit random, but I just feel that little space because I didn't know what else to do with it. Some neon try hard triangles, pretty cool. And then I do I do actually squeeze in, in the end, uh, the get famous uh, wardrobe thing, but I, I originally put it, I think on the side of Addison's room. And then again, I'm like, yeah, that's really annoying. We have to, oh, actually no, I think I put it in the middle away from Addison's room and I move it to the other side because it was actually worked out a lot better. I thought um, these little plants are quite nice. I don't know if I want to keep them. I just kind of put them next to the bed there. But I thought it looked quite nice. And I also, uh, you saw earlier, I moved like the canopy lights over the like, I guess, selfie area. Cause I kind of thought that looked a lot better. I really wanted to use those somewhere in an actual like furnishing and build. And I think hanging over, I was doing it over the bed originally, but it kind of looked a little awkward. So I think hanging over the selfie area, those canopy uh, sort of draped lighting uh, sh sheet, I don't know, looks sweet. I thought it looked cool anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm just moving the shoes over to this side because like I said, I wanted to have that, at least one of the big Get Famous ones just because they, they look really like expensive clothes and <laughs> really fancy. So I was like, yeah, we're gonna have at least one of those in there and then a few other little bits and bobs around that. You know, Brianne's using that room to the fullest, the fullest extent. I also really like the black floorboard. So I was like, why don't we raise the uh, walk-in robe and the selfie area onto a, like a little platform. So it looks like maybe uh, the original hardwood floors would still be under there. You know, if you want to sell the house, you could take out the platform. The original floorboards are still there. You haven't ruined anything. <laughs> Not that that matters in Sims, but I also just thought that was kind of a nice little element that maybe felt a little bit more real doing it that way rather than just having a completely separate floor on the same level. I just thought it also looks kind of nice having a little step up. And it creates, because the room is such an awkward shape, it looks like it probably maybe was another room at some point. So I think having that division in the floor and the floor height, I think kind of works quite nicely too. And a few more clutter items here. I've got a little speaker, I've got that new couch. I love those like little neon signs as well. I mean, this part of the room is a little awkward with the desk and that I didn't really know where to go with it, but it had already been 50 minutes at this point. So I was like, that'll do. Anyway, that is the little room renovation. Let's get back in and actually play the game. So. That did take a long time, but here it is. I think, I mean, this really puts Addison's room to shame. We've got to fix up their room. Uh, Cause I, I mean, I just plonked all the items here. I'm not gonna do it right now, though I do feel bad that I'm not doing it right now. So maybe we'll do it next episode. And if you like the idea of the like integrated sort of speed furnish, maybe we'll do the same thing for Addison. We could also maybe turn this into an ensuite. I don't really think we need a bathroom in the hallway. 
It might also make more sense to have it part of this room rather than here, so I don't know. Anyway, we'll do that next time. Brienne's room. I mean, this looks pretty cool. I reckon, I really like this room. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. That little couch area there. I kind of feel like this is a room you could take really good selfies in. Uh, <laughs> which I feel like it fits at least the character that we're craft crafting for Brienne, where she's a fashionista. She looks amazing. Uh, so stylish. And we've got this little uh, sort of mirrored area here. I mean, I, I don't know. I really like that rug with this mirror, the black door behind us. I think this looks really cool. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I mean, mm, I might need to do some better lights in here. These lights are a bit sad. But when you come from here into here, it's kind of like, oh. But I do like how much stuff is in here. I know it might maybe feel a little claustrophobic, but I think this works for me. I, I quite like this. And we've got like an extra rack there, a mirror behind it, a little chair there. There's lights on the wall. I think this works. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely happy with this. I mean, it's a heck of a lot better than what we started with. So there's that at least. And of course, the ensuite bathroom is just through here, which is just like all the other bathrooms, nothing too fancy. So that works out in the end. Let's, uh, you know what? I think this mirror, is that a little low? Yeah, it was a little low from when I raised the floor. That's okay. And that's, I think everything else is fine. Cool. This is great. Now it is Sunday, 10 p.m., which means tomorrow is the first day we get to go to school with both Brienne and Addison, which I'm actually kind of excited for. It sounds kind of weird because, I mean, high school's kind of boring in this game, but um, it's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to get... Wait, actually, have you... No, you probably haven't done your high school homework because you only just aged up. Yeah, we're going to get rid of your child homework. We don't need that. Uh, sign right side of bed too. I didn't actually do that. Uh, how is Addison? Addison is pretty dang tired, but they're really wanting to work out. <laughs> Let's maybe stop. Oh, we should... Mm. Okay, what do we do with this room, guys? We've got the playroom here, which obviously... Well, we didn't really use it that much, which is a shame. I really like it, but I guess maybe we turn it into like a teen hangout. Maybe we could do like juice pong or something in there. Let me know. Like, give me some suggestions of what we should turn that into. Um, okay, I literally like cancelled Addison's workout, and they just want to keep going. <laughs> I just want to keep on working out. So you need to go to the toilet, you're stinky, and you got to go to bed. That's actually not too bad. So I'm going to get you to go up to this bathroom, take a shower, use the toilet, and then you can go to sleep. Oh, little Obi's hanging out in here. Oh, Obi's thinking about the guitar. Actually, yeah, we got to get back on the guitar. Now, how is, uh, how's Hillary? <gasps> not Dash! Why is Dash gone? I don't know who Dash is or why I know them, but they're gone. Hillary, look, our relationship with Hillary is still really good, but I think we, um... No, you know what? We didn't actually get anything negative from that that oopsie doopsie. I think we can, we, I think we're good. We sort of brushed it off as a, uh, oops, you know, sorry. I mean, to be fair, she was freezing to death. Uh, so she probably wasn't thinking about anything else. So I think we got out of that one okay. Wait, how do you know Dash as well? Who is Dash? <laughs> Why do I know them? High school graduate? Okay. Am I supposed to know who Dash is? <laughs> Oh well, whatever. Um, oh, I gotta make sure I auto light this room again, actually. Auto light uh, this room. Oh, Buddy's here. Hey, Buddy. <gasps> oh, Buddy's. Wait, uh, Buddy? Did Buddy like crawl into the drawer? <laughs> there's no room under the bed for Buddy. Oh, wait, there's Buddy. Ah. Oh. Right, you're going to the toilet and you go to bed. Great. Uh, you. Oh, uh, Obi's sleeping down here. Reginald needs to go to the toilet. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, Reginald is going to the toilet. That's good. Kevin is working out. All right, come on, come on, everyone. Let, let's go to sleep. We gotta get to. Oh, this room is so cool. It does kind of put, <laughs> it really puts that room to shame. Ooh, that's okay. Uh, Kevin is left side. Let's just go to sleep. Uh, wait. Uh, what are you doing? What? No, don't wash your hands in your your dad's room. There's a sink here. Okay. I feel like I've asked this question before, but is there a sink mod that like fixes that? And also, why haven't the Sims fixed that? Like, I'm going to the toilet here. Why am I washing my hands over here when there's a sink right there? I don't understand. All right, you're asleep. That's great. Did you do your homework? I assume we would have. We did. Okay, good. Uh, Brienne is knocking out that homework. Let's go. Oh, and then I'll get to show you the bonnet that I put on, which was a good suggestion. Thank you for that as well. Though to be fair, her sleepwear isn't that stylish. I think we might need to... I might need to... To be honest, we're probably going to need to add at least a few outfits for each category for Brienne. Okay. You go to sleep. Uh, because if we're doing this whole fashionista thing, she's going to need more than one outfit in each category. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bonnet. I did blue because she had blue shorts on. Whoa, we're going fast. Blue because she had blue shorts on. I think that works. Look at those little neon signs in this room. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. Should we, uh, probably should auto light the, um, the wardrobe too. Actually, you know what? No. 
No, I'm not going to auto light it because I want I want to be able to see this. I'm going to change the color of this light though. I feel like it's a little cool. Oh wait, maybe it's this light. It's a little warm. It felt a little cool in there. There we go. All right, sleeping. Oh no, Obi's waking me up. What? Okay, lecture about waking up. Oh, well, you need to go to the toilet. Okay, I feel bad now. No, 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 no. I, no, I feel bad. Sorry. No, no, no. Well, yes, don't wake me up, but also do wake me up if you need to go to the toilet, because... <laughs> yeah, no, that... Good dog. But, oh, Obi. Yeah, look, I made a mistake, okay? I didn't mean to. Are you going potty or what's happening? <laughs> oh, I'm just on my phone. I, I think Obi's going potty, right? Yeah. Yeah? Right, I'm also gonna need one of the dads to upgrade this bed, so that's all right. You go back to you go back. No, 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 no. Go back to sleep. This way. All right, we're just gonna do a little reset. <laughs> I think she was stuck trying to interact with the uh, with Obi. I don't know. Sims and pets, if <laughs> they don't get to chat, they they get stuck. All right, let's get to school. Come on. Ooh, it feels like it's been forever since Kevin has been romantic with his partner. It could be paranoia. Well, to be fair, I haven't played you guys in two weeks, so I don't know what you did while I was gone. Uh, it could be anxiety or gut feeling. I mean, well, Reginald's got it too. I guess we just haven't. Well, to be fair, yeah, we've been focusing on uh, Addison, so that's that's fair. Should we have should we have a morning, a little a little morning, a little morning time together? That'd be nice. Look, and he's feeling tense as well. Actually, yeah, the romance is pretty low. It's it's kind of it's kind of dwindled a little bit. Do we have any? Um, I mean, there's no like sentiment. I guess it's just reminding me. <laughs> I love that I'm a virtuoso spellcaster and a global superstar. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> also, I've been playing a lot more of The Sims 4 Dine Out Reloaded. I've been doing a Sims 4 multiplayer series with Dr. Gluon. It's so funny and I suggest you check it out up there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of episodes already. I've been live streaming over on my other channel. Um, so make sure to subscribe there. But what my point is, is I would love to do a restaurant with this family as well. I'm not sure. I guess maybe when Addison grows up. Which, what's, what's our plan with that? I guess get an A and then age up. It's ki kind of like under baby challenge rules, right? You have to get an A. Is that the rule of that? I don't know. But maybe once Addison gets an A or or at least a second prom. Or I guess the aspiration, right? That makes more sense. That's what we're doing. Is that what we're, that's what we're doing. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, yeah, we've got a few levels to do that. So, dare if, yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Let's try to do that. We'll do the aspiration. Um, oh, I need to change Brienne's to a teen one, because we, we got the bonus trait we wanted. And then we'll change it to... So what did um, Reginald do? Did Reginald do goal-orientated? I think so. That looks about right, yeah. And then Addison's live fast. Uh, a Mired icon joined Tipo's challenge, make 10 teen friends. I feel like this is probably Brienne, more than Drama Llama. List five outfits on Trendy, yeah, earn gold at an on any hosted party? Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, this will be, be Brienne's for sure. All right, Addison is taking a photo. Brienne is kind of hungry. We've got a bit of time. Let's go get some leftovers maybe. Yeah, and then I think, yeah, maybe Addison will do a restaurant. I mean, I want to run a restaurant because Carl's Mod is so cool. It's on version 3.2 at the moment, or at least that's the one I have. And it actually allows you to grow. Hey, we've got a trash plant. You grow your own plants and you can use that in the restaurant as the food you're selling. Like it's not obviously one to one, but basically if you have a big diverse garden of lots of different plants, you will earn more money for each meal you sell. Uh, it's really cool. And it just keeps getting better and better. So I'm super excited to play more of it because it makes dining out so much fun. And of course you can play as the chef, the waiter and the host as one sim, or you can obviously have multiple of your family members there do a family restaurant where each sim is doing a different role. Like, I don't know, it's really cool. Or of course hire sims like before. But there's so much potential with it. Um, Kevin, can I get you to clean that up? Oh no, we're eating leftover cake. That's really not a great breakfast, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that cake. We, the problem with cakes in Sims is they always seem to just, that's what they pick. Uh, if, if they have the option, they're gonna pick it. So we just basically have to get rid of the option, then we're fine. Do we, can we clean that up? Can I magic clean that? Eh, uh, scrub already. I think we just clean that up. Oh, look at that. Wasn't that nice? There we go. Is that, hello? Uh, how dirty is this? My magic didn't work. Scrubberoo, please. Come up. Clean, 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 and not clean. Can I can I just clean floor then? <laughs> Scrubberoo is not working. Dude, what is that? Oh, you had um like sushi. Obi, what's up? Lecture about barking. Also, all my doors are glitching out. They <laughs> they can still walk through it, but it's kind of glitched. I saw the one up here was too. Any others? Probably, but that's fine. 
All right, Obi, I feel like we need to probably train Obi a little bit more. Problem is we're not here that much. Like, because we go to school for the whole day and then that's it, you know. All right, you guys want to get changed for school maybe? Change outfit. Um, and whatever. Ad Addison's like, that's fine. I'll, I'll just wear whatever. Yeah, look, we're gonna go to school together. Brianne's like, yeah, it's my first day of school. I'm gonna be so popular. We gotta what, join a team post challenge. So hopefully if we see someone doing that, we can do that. We gotta make 10 teen friends, which is actually... I'm not looking forward to that, but we probably need to do that with Addison as well anyway, because we need to get party invites so we can sneak out. We gotta post on social money, actually. We can probably start doing that. Uh, add contact list. We'll get... <laughs> Flower bunny. No, not... Da oh, Dash was a fire firefighter? Is that how we know Dash? Right, add Addison, uh, not Sydney. I don't know any other teenagers, so I'm not adding the flower bunny. New post. It's only for my brother. Post about homework. Uh, what would a cool girl post? They wouldn't post about homework. Post about outfit. <laughs> Someone that's cool is not talking about homework. There we go. All right, we posted once, and I'll, I'll message Addison. Send a funny. I'll send a meme. The person who invented autocorrect died today. Restaurant in peace. <laughs> you know that's kind of funny, and also. On point, because we will definitely be running a restaurant at some point. Well, maybe not definitely, but... Um, select which students to follow. Yes, please. Both of them. Let's go! Alrighty, here we are. We're at school. Did Hillary show up today as well, or... Oh, actually, what I gotta do... Well, it's your first... Oh. Is that... It's my first day of school. I didn't get the first day tasks. Oh. Which is Addison... Is that Addison's? Is that Addison? That's Addison. I'm gonna just take this one. All right, what do you have to do? You gotta work out on treadmill. All right, there you go. You go do that. Uh, you just have to study, but, oh, ow. You all right? <laughs> you all right there? Okay, principal's there. Hey, that's my that's my locker now. And then I'm gonna make a bunch of friends. Oh man, there's actually gonna, you know, oh, there, yes, Hillary is here. Okay, we gotta, we gotta chat to Hillary today. Oh, I guess I should probably age up Forrest too, which is Hillary's younger brother. And Forrest should probably also come to high school. All right, this is mine. Sweet. Decorate it with... Hmm. Preppy, I guess? Yeah! Let's grab an apple. Oh, hey. What's up? You know what? I do need to talk to you. Scoff at discomfort? No, no, no. Funny introduction. I'm going to be nice. Because I'm going to be super popular. Hey, what's going on? Do you want to be my friend? I need 10 friends. So if you would like to be my friend, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah! Um, whisper about... I don't think I have a crush. Hello? Hi. Is anyone doing the tea post challenge? Whoa! Is anyone doing the T post challenge? Oh, how are you going? I gotta, I gotta, this is, you know what? This is actually kind of hard. I gotta keep on top of things now. So high school, study for exam. And I gotta study for exam too, but I also gotta, I also gotta make friends. So why don't none of you look like you're wearing teenagers clothes? Is this what teenagers wear now? Like <laughs> you're wearing like a blazer and like some pants. Okay, how do I, how do I make friends quickly? I mean, I could just do, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just take photos. Heck yeah. I'm gonna make friends. Hang on, I don't care about that other person. I'm just gonna take a photo of you. I'm I'm scrapbooking um, for the yearbook. So <laughs> you're right there, Addison. <laughs> they look a little happier now, but uh, a little rough. Okay, can we take the photo? What is going on? Take the dang photo! I just need to make. Even if I'm cheating to make. Oh yeah, there we go. Work it. If I'm cheating to make friends and it's taking me this long, I don't have time. <laughs> Does taking more than one photo help, or is it? Like, like, I always take five. Oh no, I took a selfie. Well, I should probably take a selfie. May as well while I'm here. <laughs> there we go. I feel like, I feel like the self. <laughs> I actually love that because Addison is just there too. First day of school! <laughs> Alright, well, it's time for class, so enough of that. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Come on. Why is Hillary never. Oh, this. How? Okay, guys. He literally said he had a different job. How do we get rid of him? Like, literally, we asked him to take a different job. He said he took a different job, and he's back at school. I honestly think there's maybe only one way about this. <laughs> oh no, Hillary is sick. Well, yeah, she did nearly freeze to death at prom, so that's probably why. That's probably why. <laughs> Just a little prom joke for you. Oh, look at us here in school together. Rianne and Addison and all the other miscellaneous students I don't really know. And then also Hillary. I guess I should probably get to know some of the other people, but not you. <laughs> not you. He shouldn't even be allowed within a few- Oh, yes, I've got money. Shouldn't be allowed within a few hundred feet of this school. All right, I gotta post a social bunny. Um, let's- hang on, let me open social bunny. I gotta add some friends and uh, add a contact. Okay, I know you. Good. Uh, are you a teen? I don't know who you are. 
I don't want to add adults, so I gotta, I gotta meet some people. All right, let me meet people first. Okay, wait, I know you, right? Yes. And actually talking on Social Bunny, you can build friendships really quickly, right? So I gotta do that too. All right, Addison, maybe we should go chat with Hillary because I feel like we left on a, let's just monkey around like the old days. I feel like we left on a bit of a rough note. So <laughs> let's maybe just have a good time. Ask about day. Can I give us some medicine? <laughs> Banter with BFF, there we go. All right, how are we going in here? Okay, I don't need to. I don't need to talk to you guys for a long time. I just a short time. I just need I need to know you. Oh, it's Bri Lee. Of course, we know Bri Lee. Right, I gotta go. I just have to meet everyone. Okay, leave me alone. I'm gonna go meet some new people. And do I know Hillary? Wait, I don't even know Hillary. How do I not know Addison's like best friend? <laughs> Can I add you to my group? Actions. Oh, I can't. I guess I can't because I'm in a group with Brianne. Oh well, I was gonna say study together, but uh, let's just go sit. I don't know who's gonna sit there. Okay, where's Brianne? Brianne is on her way. She's gonna meet everyone. What are my needs like actually? I've not paid attention to that. All right, so I said hi. There you go, that's all we need. Friendly introduction, leave me alone. I know you, I know you. Friendly introduction. What's going on over here? Okay, you're on your way. Then I'm just gonna go to high school, study for exam, because apparently you have to study, but you don't, so I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm meeting you, good. I'm meeting Gracie. Very nice. That was one of our dogs in, was it Cats and Dogs Let's Play? Or one of them somewhere. And I got to meet uh, Haven. It's a pretty awesome name, actually. Yeah, I think I've met everyone. Well, all the teenagers anyway. In which case, let me add them to my social bunny. Don't mind if I do. So we got two. One of them's my brother. <laughs> Gracie and Catherine and Briley and Haven and... I still don't know if you're a teenager, so not you. Latasha, uh, Megumi, and where's Julio? Did I not meet you yet? Or maybe I haven't let the interaction play out. Okay, I think I've done it now. Okay. So we should have, and Julio. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's only eight. Oh, I don't know Hillary yet. Hang on, where's Hillary? And I, I don't know if the game counts members in my household as a friend, because well, it can't actually, because we're already friends, so it won't. That means I need one more teenager, because I know everyone here, right? Ah, oh, gonna earn good manners. Okay, so yeah, I know everyone here. I need another teenager, though. Let me just check. <laughs> Let's go around and click on everyone. Okay, I know everyone here. Is there anyone else? There's the faculty, but... Might have to go to like the thrift store and try and find one more teen. We've got nine teens, which is okay. And then my theory is, let me add to contact list, Hillary. Well, actually, let me check. Who's that other person? I keep not knowing who they are. Um, Izumi, are you a teen? No, you're an adult, dang it. Oh, actually, if we age up Forrest, who was already a friend of mine, and he probably should be a teenager as well, that would make sense. And then we'd have 10. All right, got to do my social bunny posts. I want to do, uh, oh, experience. fine. I'm just going to message people. So I'm going to say friendly message, uh, funny message, Flirty message. This is a little bit of fun. Now the problem is I don't know who I've already sent messages to, and I don't know if the order the order is changing. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> just send a bunch. Oh, look at our friendships going up. Yeah. So this is a thing you can just do. You can just keep doing it. <laughs> In a way, I guess it's technically easier than. Um... Oh, I guess it's ordering by relationship. Is it? Maybe. Well, it can't be because Addison's down the bottom. Oh, maybe just besides Addison. So if I just keep doing this, we're going to have friends. And you know what? I don't even mind because I, I don't want to spend a million years trying to become friends. The old fashioned way, you know? This is the new age. I'm just going to message everyone during lunch break here. It does take a while though, to be honest. I reckon taking photos is still quicker. Did I just remove someone? I think I might have clicked on that. Oh well. They don't deserve to be my social bunny. Okay, I'm kind of over this now. It's taking forever. But we got we got like a good starting point with everyone now. So we should kind of be friendly with everyone. Well, I say friendly, but like, you know, we got a little bit of positive with everyone. So that's pretty good. All right, I should probably study for my exam. I don't really need to. It doesn't tell me to. I'm going to do it anyway. Addison's been working hard, which is great. They're actually nearly done. With, well, three quarters done. It's only Monday. So that's actually really good. Uh, are you going to you gonna do your, your thing? Um, I kind of told you to study for exam. And I, Brianne's. See, Addison was supposed to be the one that's a little loosey goosey. I'm just waiting to sneak out to a party. You know what? Addison needs to meet people. That's what we need to do. Because they need to get invited to parties. So I haven't done that. <laughs> I don't think I really know enough teenagers, is probably the issue. And then none of them are really my friends. So that's what you guys suggested anyway. 
But I'm just gonna go around and do the same with Addison. Then maybe social bunny it as well. Oh, it's class time. All right, no more meeting people. Well, I met a few more people. Oh, hello, feeling a little flirty. Uh, well, hang on, social bunny, let's see. How many, let me, let me add some more teens in here. I met two more teens and that was it, okay. I'll send them some messages, you know, just to, just to get on their good side. See how many times I have to click this. It's actually, it's, I mean, it's not that many. Is this because with Brienne, I've got like 10 different people? Yeah, I mean, that's, that is pretty quick, isn't it? Hey, I got a good reputation just by incessantly messaging someone, which is not good advice in real life. Do not do this. Most people do not like it. Not like Sims anyway. Don't worry, Latasha, I haven't forgotten you. I, I'm just doing this because we need to be invited to parties. We need to be able to sneak out. Otherwise, we're not going to complete that aspiration. Okay, that, that's good. That, that's pretty good. I, I think we're friends with them, are we? Uh... Teen, teen, are we, do we, do I have any relationship with these people? Yeah, friend, we're friends, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, we gotta go to class, what's going on? Come on, let's go to class. Come on, good, let's go. Oh my gosh, I probably should have gone to the toilet. I don't know, circling? All right, we're off to class. Uh, we're okay, it's still good. I might pee myself during class, but not so bad. I'm probably gonna be a smidge late here, but the principal's busy, so we're probably fine. I'm in class. <laughs> But it doesn't walk it into class like that. Ugh. I would just take a bathroom break during class, but I'm pretty sure the principal will not like that. I think Addison also has to go. Yeah, it's also hungry. Ah, oh, chess starts in an hour. Ah, oh, I became good friends with Addison. Sweet. All right, well, before chess, we really have to go to the toilet. So I'm going to say go to the toilet. And also Brianne's going to go to the toilet real bad too. All right, good, good school day, everyone. I think we made some good progress. Tell you what, it is definitely harder having two Sims at school. Cause like I want to do each of their things. It is actually kind of a little bit more difficult to juggle, which is fun. It is fun. All right, they're off to the toilet. That's good. Um, Addison has chess soon. So what I'm going to do is, well, Brienne's going to go to the toilet. Then I think we'll jump back home. Um, Cause Brienne needs to, is anyone T-posing? We need to, we need to keep an eye out for T-posing. Cause we got We have to join that for our thing. And I've also made zero friends. I've done one social bunny post though. That's good. All right, so we're going to the toilet. Uh oh, did that toilet just break? Ew. Oh, I think both of those toilets were pranked, actually. And that might have been me. Was that me? I don't remember. Oh my god, <laughs> our pills. You know, our bills aren't actually that bad, all things considered. We've got, what, $10,000, oh, $11,120 bills. Actually not that bad. Also considering we've got $266,000, so that's actually not, not bad. But anyway, we have bills, but I am going to leave this part here. I mean, look, look at this room. I'm, I, I'm so happy. This turned out the way it did. I'm pretty pleased with it. But let me know your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. Next time, I think, yeah, we'll do maybe uh, up Addison's room because that does look really sad. Um, and let me know your thoughts as well on the whole restaurant idea. Uh, I think maybe once Addison is an adult, we can start doing that. I'm really excited for that. And don't forget to check out the Dine Out Multiplayer Let's Play that I've been posting four parts already. Uh, you can go check it out. It's so much fun to play and to watch. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, you got like maybe two hours of content already to watch there. Pretty cool. But thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.